Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the demo for the Return to Freddy's remake. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what this entails per se, and at least in terms of like the original. All I do know is that it only has two nights and uh, yeah, in today's video we're going to be hopping into the game and attempting to beat the two nights available. And so without much further ado, let's just jump right on in, shall we? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't realize it was actually going to give us a little night select thingamajiggy. Uh, help wanted. Fazbear's waiting for new employees. Buy Fazbear Entertainment. The even so popular pizzeria be come to a new face. <laughs> All the old characters from the 80s are back. The entertainment is so much joyful now and Fazbear Entertainment is waiting for you. You can be a part of Freddy's. Every scope is allowed. Janitors, caretakers, security guards, etc. $150 a week. To apply, call 1-88-FAZ-FAZ-BEAR. That messed me up so bad. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? What is it saying? Ooh, hello. Oh, okay, there it goes. I was about to say, can I not use the door? Ooh. Well, uh, even if you're not there, it'll save this as a message. Anyway, welcome to your winter job. I'll be your guide during your week-long stay at the venue. Now it's my turn to nag you with legal issues and things like that. <coughs> yeah, okay. Uh, sorry for that, I've had a cold for a few days. This season sure hits hard at the moment. Continuing with what I was saying, I must give you a series of instructions so that you can become familiar with this place and its rules with everything you should know. Oh, okay, regard. cool. Don't be afraid. I've been in your place multiple times, actually, especially because it's mine. Yes, I'm Vincent. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't attend your job interview. I was busy with some economic affairs of the place. That reminds me that the place is mainly powered by a generator during the night that does not usually last long. <coughs> Excuse me, that's my uh, ear <laughs> coughing in. As a security guard, you have to take certain precautions such as... Uh, honestly, I never understood why these robots operate out of the ordinary at night. They behave weird. Uh, you know, they move during the night around the premises and for some strange reason they tend to go into your office too much <laughs> look I know this can be a bit hard to explain but basically you have two doors on your sides that you can close so that the animatronics don't catch you what ah right uh, I uh, I forgot to tell you that the animatronics generally tend to be aggressive during the night shift. It is possible that their operation fails and they end up mistaking you for an endoscope. They are supposed to have a facial recognition system, but it fails somehow at night, so that's why it's oh, hello. that you use the doors. So that, you know, the animatronics don't catch you and you don't end up putting you in inside the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, in case closing the doors doesn't work, which would be too strange and curiously convenient, use the mask that should make them go without a problem. Uh, oh, okay. Unless That's the mask has now, some problem, I think it's infected with some type of highly radioactive gas or chemical. Uh-huh. Also, that, due to its age, it can become uncomfortable and suffocating if you're wearing it for too long. <sighs> Meanwhile, you'll only fulfill your work day, at least for this day. The animatronics should not be a problem. If you're sure that you can take this job there. It should not be a letter resigned tomorrow, by the way. If, oh God, no. if something happens to your body, 
Fazbear Entertainment will not take care of dismemberment, mutilation, or murder during the night shift. That was in the contract you read. <laughs> uh, I think my time's up. Uh, take care of the local energy. Don't let them break your legs, and uh, have a good night. Good luck, and see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I felt like he was just rambling about random things. Just like, oh yeah, it has highly radioactive gas in it. I tell you what, goes right around. <laughs> I'm just, my first thought was, so you're telling me that if I wear this thing long enough, I'm basically going to become Walter White. Which, if that is the case, sign me up. <laughs> nah, I'm messing with you. Alright, so Foxy's coming. Shut the door. Well, that's interesting. And it seems like he bangs kind of quickly there. Which is nice, actually. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, yeah. As stated earlier, there is only two nights. Hi. What do I do about you? Okay, Freddy's also on the move again. Hey, where's Freddy? Why? Huh? Why is Freddy in the parts and service? I thought Freddy just stuck to the right... Oh, God. Where did Chica go? Oh, God. <laughs> I am losing this animatronics. Oh, hi, Freddy. Wait, can... Is Freddy stuck by the... Oh, oh, hi. Okay, I was not expecting a puppet. Hello? Why is it going... What is with the alarm? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, what is up with the alarm? Am I in danger? Am I going to die? Probably so, I don't know. Where's... Oh, hi, there you are. I was just about to say, where is Chica at? Hello? No, nobody's there. Okay, so sugar, which you still look a lot like candy. I don't get why, like, it couldn't have been like a unique cat. <laughs> like, make it something that... Oh, hi, Bonnie. When did you get here? I, why? <laughs> why are you here so soon? Oh, okay. <laughs> shut up, immediately shut the door. Alright. He's gone. Yeah, okay. I just realized I didn't even get to say what I was going to say. <laughs> just so much happened all of a sudden. I was like, wow. But yeah, this only has two nights and the animatronics progressively grit. <laughs> Get more aggressive as the night progresses, which... Oh, hi, Freddy. Oh, that's cool. I like how Freddy's at the door. But yeah, they uh, get more aggressive as the night goes on. And uh, yeah, all animatronics are basically active, which is insane to think about. <laughs> There's probably going to be a few more of these buggers here. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it's about to hit 6 a.m. Here shortly, because we got 10% power. Actually, golly, okay. <laughs> it jumped from not, uh, 10 to 9 to 8 so fast, it was like, yeah. Okay, what do I do about you? Because you're, like, just approaching my camera. <laughs> you're like, oh, I see that now. Give it here. Mm. Oh, this is yours? <laughs> Not anymore. Mine. I, I don't know. I just realized I'm giving him an odd voice, aren't I? Yay. There we go. <laughs> that sounds so une unenthusiastic there. Yay. Oh, hello. Oh, it is. Why are you silent? <laughs> Freddy. Freddy's just over here, glowing in the dark, silently. I'm so... Huh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I was not expecting it to just be like, I'm sorry. Alright. Tonight, too. This should be slightly more challenging. Hopefully we'll actually be able to beat it without running out of power. Hi, Mike. How was it last night? Not bad. Uh, okay, I know you can't answer me, but I always like to have contact with my employees, you know, so they don't feel overwhelmed during the night. Anyway, today I don't have much more to tell you. We've been working on some things on the premises, you know, paying tax.
taxes and those things that nobody cares about. Anyway, <laughs> I like how that was actually my thought. That for some reason, Foxy started to activate out of nowhere during the day shift. I don't know what's with this guy. He's always so unpredictable. <coughs> Go get that checked out. <laughs> Sorry, I still have a cold. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, it's one of the older models, so you already get an idea of the situation. This is confidential, but so you can see that I have some confidence on you. I'll, uh, I'll tell you that we have reused parts of the previous models from the old restaurant. If the Fred... The, uh, the Freddies of the 80s. <laughs> uh, those were the times. Uh, ha, yes. Uh, Foxy, maybe today... Oh, uh, oh, hello. ...usually runs like a maniac there. <clears throat> It's happened before, so don't be surprised. It doesn't tend to be aggressive, but it does resort to doing that. Uh, today we saw that he was running down the left corridor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that prank started. Well, yeah. There was no guard there during the day. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, the point is that it's probably active tonight. We'll be constantly checking it. So, don't worry. <coughs> Sorry, the cold still won't go away. Uh, and, well, boy, remember that the other animatronics are also there, so don't forget to check the cameras and keep them at bay, in addition to putting on that mask thing, only when it's necessary. Uh, oh yeah, uh, anything else I have to tell you? Right. Tomorrow we'll be celebrating a birthday of a certain Ryan. You know, a child from the place. The important thing is that we will bring him a surprise. I don't want to ruin it, so I'd better leave it as unknown. Well, Mike, I'm afraid that's all for tonight. Don't forget to check the cameras, keep on the lookout for Foxy, and avoid the animatronics. Make sure they don't break your bones. Uh, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Homeboy sounds like an absolute nut job. <laughs> like, he really does. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a uh, good thing we didn't have a, you know, guard there, I tell you. They alright. I mean, fair enough. But I'm kind of confused on why he's like, yeah, we have a birthday tomorrow. Got this kid a gift. Unfortunately, can't tell you what it is. <laughs> Why does it matter if I know what it is? <laughs> like, genuinely speaking, that's how I feel about... Or, like, that's what I thought. I was like, Why does it matter if I know what it is? Am I going to be there? Oh. Hello. Oh. Okay, do I do something there or no? Okay, I don't... Also, wait, is that the same little head from last time? Oh no, it looks... <laughs> I think it changed, because I feel like last time it was Chica's head, and then this time it was... It's now Bonnie's. I don't know, actually. I could be wrong. I just noticed there's a... Hi. Okay. At least I did that right. <laughs> I, I don't know how or why I did that. I think my, like, FNAF 2 instinct just flipped in. Go from camera to mask. Thankfully, that saved me there, because otherwise I'd probably be dead right now. Alright. I still feel like they could have changed the model, like, drastically to some extent. I say drastically. The fact that they changed the model from, like, you know, resembling Candy the Cat is kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, the color scheme. Oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, boy, straight up hanging up. Uh, I think that was in the original, wasn't it? The, uh, hanging upside down thingamajiggy from, uh, Sugar. Okay, Freddy is active. Oh, hi. <laughs> he 
it's you again. I felt like that. Oh, I just realized actually. The head actually changes. That's cool actually, I'm not gonna lie. So I wasn't going crazy. It was actually a Chica last time, it seems like. Hi, Bonnie. Are you back in the fin already? No. I think I'm actually becoming a nut job a little bit because I'm hearing things, apparently. Alright, so Freddy's on the move. He's in the. Oh, there you are. That's cool. I like the fact that he has two different poses for that camera. Depending on if Freddy's there. Not Freddy, Bonnie's there or not. I like that, actually. I like when they give the characters more than one uh, pose. Okay, I can't. There we Okay, there we go. <laughs> I keep looking like down towards the right. Not right. Oh, hello. Hi, puppet. I thought it was sugar for a second in here. I was like, wait, what? Already? <laughs> a pizza with nothing. Yo. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my mind. Ever seen like that meme where it's like, yo. I don't remember the name. But they're like, give me a pizza with nothing. No shit. <laughs> okay, I legit feel like I'm becoming the nut job. I <laughs> first it was Vincent or whatever his name is. I was about to call him Todd or Tony. Okay. <laughs> I'm just off the wall now. I feel like okay. Well, it <laughs> I I really don't know what to say on. Oh, hello. It's the cat. Alright, I will admit, I kind of like the fact that there's an alarm that plays whenever the puppet or the uh, sugar gets into the room. That sounds weird in that uh, phrasing. <laughs> when the sugar gets in the room. Whoa, hello. Hi. What is this? Hey, uh, night four been doing well. Uh, listen, I know you may not like this decision, but tomorrow there may not be any messages for you. Uh, tonight is really bad for me. I've been very busy with the venue and, you know, those things. I'm kind of happy to be able to record this message for you. But, boy, do me a favor. I need you to go to the parts of service area and check inside those suits. Uh, sometime, uh, I've been trying to get someone to do it for me, but no one, uh, I don't, I don't want to be too bad, I wonder why the, oh no, is that, oh, <laughs> that, that caught me off guard, I knew it was coming, it just, ooh, alright, Thank you for playing the demo. Congratulations for a finish. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the English is messing me up. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, that's also something I probably should say. This game is getting somewhat of a rebrand. And it's going to be considered uh, the Return to Freddy's Legacy. I'm not going to lie, I thought the game closed for a second because all of a sudden it just... <laughs> the, the screen ratio is kind of odd for this game and it just kind of bugged out for a second. That's why I was like, uh... <laughs> for, I was like, ooh, okay, the game closed. Hold on. Nope. It just booted itself back to the main menu, surprisingly. Anywho, this has been your captain speaking. I hope you have enjoyed at least to some extent. And if you did, I hope to catch you around in the next one. And until then, bye-bye for now.